Welcome to our step-by-step -step demonstration of the Mission Darkness Titan RF DIY Faraday Cage Kit. Today, we'll show you how to quickly and effectively construct a reliable Faraday cage using our specially designed kit. Whether you're looking to protect your electronic devices from electromagnetic pulses, EMPs, or block wireless signals to ensure your digital privacy, this DIY kit is your go-to solution. In your kit, you'll find everything needed to build a robust Faraday cage. Handling gloves, conductive adhesive tape, tape anchors, spring clamps, cardboard jig, high shielding Titan RF Faraday fabric, and step-by-step -step instructions. Additionally, you'll want to have the following items on hand. L-square ruler or yardstick, industrial strength double-sided tape or other container attachment method, pencil, scissors, a measuring tape, a stool to help tape the edges of the Faraday liner, and of course the container to use as the exterior shell of your Faraday cage. Some steps may require help from a friend. Ensure you have a large, clean working surface and unpack kit components. Note that the Faraday fabric and tape tarnish easily from skin oils, so wear the included gloves when handling the materials. Cut your Faraday fabric panel to create one sheet measuring 200 inches in length by 44 inches in width for the side sheet, and another sheet measuring 55 inches in length by 18 inches in width for the base sheet. The remaining fabric piece measuring 55 inches in length by 26 inches in width is now scrap material and can be used for a separate, smaller DIY project. Place the smaller sheet of fabric, base sheet, on a clean work surface and fold it in half lengthwise. Cut a strip of Faraday tape that is about two to three inches longer than the fabric on each open side. A tip, when connecting two fabric sheets with tape, fold the tape piece in half widthwise so that there is a visible middle crease. This helps you line up the tape evenly when applying it to two fabric sheets. Remove the tape protector and lay the piece of tape on your work surface with the adhesive side facing outward. Tip. You can anchor the tape in place by adhering the extended side edges to your work surface. This is helpful with longer strips of tape. Place the open side of the fabric centered and halfway onto the adhesive side of the tape then fold the exposed adhesive side of the tape over onto the top side of the fabric. Tip. Start in the middle when folding the tape over the fabric edge and move outward. Carefully adhere the fabric to the exposed tape using light pads, opposed to forceful sliding movements. Trim excess tape is necessary. Be careful not to cut the closed side of the fabric. If you accidentally cut the closed side, use Faraday tape to seal the opening. Repeat the process on all open sides. All sides of your fabric sheet should be enclosed. Now this is what your small base sheet should look like. Use the tips previously mentioned to prepare the next fabric sheet. Place the larger piece of fabric, side sheet, on a clean work surface and fold it in half lengthwise. Cut a strip of Faraday tape that is about two to three inches longer than the fabric on each open side. Place Faraday tape anchors about seven inches from the side edges of the fabric to hold it in place to your work surface. Determine where the tape should be attached so that the fabric will fall directly in the center and halfway onto the adhesive side of the tape. Separate the tape protector from the side edges and adhere the tape corners to your work surface to hold it in place. Loosely fold the fabric against its anchors and take off the tape protector. Carefully unfold the fabric so it falls halfway onto the exposed tape that is anchored to your work surface. And fold the remaining tape over onto the top side of the fabric. Repeat the process on all open sides until all sides of your fabric sheet are enclosed. Trim excess tape is necessary.
Remove the anchors in order to adhere the strip of tape. Again, we are cutting the excess tape and removing the anchors to ensure we have a clean rectangular Faraday sheet. Fold the large fabric sheet in half lengthwise. Cut a tape strip that is two to three inches longer than the width of the fabric. Use the tape to seal the open side closed. Lastly, cut off any excess tape from the edges. Place the wider side of the small fabric sheet centered next to an open side of the large fabric sheet. Measure and mark center points on both sheets in order to center them accurately. Cut a strip of tape the width of the small sheet. Tape the small sheet to the large sheet on one of the open ends. Then cut a strip of tape the width of the small sheet. Tape the small sheet to the large sheet on one of the open ends. Flip the sheet over, then fold the small sheet in half. Now tape the loose side to the open side on the large sheet. Make sure the tape is cut to the width of the small sheet. Place the cardboard jig on a tall stool or work surface that is smaller than the jig. Tip. Tape it in place with masking tape so it doesn't move. Place the Faraday cage liner over the jig. Position the jig at the corners of your bottom sheet so it matches up with the small base sheet. Use Faraday tape anchors sporadically to join the two sides together at the fold. Cut a strip of tape that is about two inches longer than the fabric on each side. Tape over your anchors to cover the seam. Cut the excess tape at the center crease. Be careful not to cut the fabric liner. Then fold the tape flaps over to create a clean corner seal. Tip. Corners are weak points in the liner, so ensure they are well sealed. Apply additional tape over the corners if needed. Repeat on the opposite side until you have a fully enclosed Faraday cage liner. Tip. Hold the liner up to a light to see if there are any holes. If you see light shining through, tape over the hole. Flip the liner inside out to expose all non-reinforced seams. Now, apply Faraday tape to all non-reinforced seams to create a more secure seal. You will need to apply tape to the large sheet side seam as well.
simplify the final step, flip the liner on its side, making it easier to tape the side seam. You now have a complete Faraday cage liner and can attach it to your protective outer container, storage bin, not included. Recommended step, use a plastic 27 gallon or similar size resealable tote bin to house your DIY Faraday cage liner. To attach the liner to your own container, apply strips of industrial strength double-sided tape to the bin. Note that regular strength double-sided tape is not strong enough to hold the liner in place. It must be industrial strength. Use around 14 tape strips along the sides and six tape strips along the base. Then place the liner centered inside and apply pressure against the exposed tape to stick the liner in place. You may use other attachment methods, but do not pierce holes through the liner, which would allow RF signals to penetrate. Tip, clean the container prior to applying tape strips to it. Optional step, place the cardboard jig on the bottom of the liner before inserting contents to add a layer of protection against fabric punctures. Insert your contents and leave extra room on top for the excess liner material to fold inward. Expand the Faraday cage liner. Make an even connection with both sides of the material, then carefully roll the top edge over multiple times. Then use the spring clamps to hold the closure roll in place. The clamps should be attached evenly on the sides and middle. Carefully fold the sealed liner edges inward. Ensure that the liner with contents inside fits completely inside the container with the lid on to prevent it from getting damaged. And there you have it, a fully functional Faraday cage ready to shield your devices from radio frequency signals and electromagnetic interference. Test the shielding effectiveness as necessary with a signal analyzer or communicable device to ensure no signals are penetrating. Thank you for watching our demonstration. Don't forget, whether it's for data security, emergency preparedness, or personal privacy, Mission Darkness has got you covered. Visit our website to check out our comprehensive collection of Faraday bags and Faraday cage construction supplies.